Of course, at the center of the caucus confusion, the app used by Iowa Democrats to report caucus numbers. The debacle over the results has many wondering whether they've seen the last of the Iowa caucuses, in part because this isn't the first time there have been problems. In 2012, Iowa Republicans announced the wrong winner, originally saying Mitt Romney won. Eight days later, they realized Rick Santorum was the actual winner. Problems continued in 2016 when Hillary Clinton and Bernie Sanders compiled the delegates were awarded by a flip of a coin. But Iowa's veteran political reporter David Yepsen says that those problems shy in comparison to this year's flub. This fiasco doesn't do the Democratic Party any good. Their mission is to elect, nominate a candidate who they can elect to the presidency. And when you have this fumbling around, this uncertainty, not creating a clear winner in second and third place, that doesn't help the Democratic Party look like an organization that can run the country. The Democratic National Committee would have to change its rules to effectively remove Iowa's status as first in the nation.